Combining the National Bank brand into ANZ will see 20 branches close, but the bank is promising no frontline job cuts as yet and will in fact invest $100 million in the branch network. Almost 10 years after ANZ bought the National Bank, it's doing away with the brand and the dark horse. But with us now for more on what the move entails is the Chief Executive of ANZ National, David Hisco. Good morning to you, David. Good morning, Nadine. So no frontline job cuts as yet, but if you're reducing the number of branches you've got, is that not inevitable? Well, actually, no, there, there'll be no frontline jobs lost and we've assured our frontline that. What we're actually doing is um, relocating our branches and putting them in better places. So we're actually opening in 15 new communities. But there are some towns where we've got a smaller ANZ often and a large national branch. And we'll be renovating that branch, making it look nice and new and moving our staff from ANZ up the road into the, the refurbished national branch. But there are some contractors that are going to lose out here? Yeah, these are people that build things and move on. It's a little bit like um, building a house, you know, once they've built it, they go and build somewhere else and so these are technology contractors and they're on short-term contracts and that's that's really what they do for a living. What do you say to the skeptics though that say once you merge these two brands, once it's all operational, you're going to find areas that are doubled up and that job losses are inevitable? Well look, it, it, the logic of it is is that if we've got all of our customers today and we're going to work very hard to keep our customers and prove to them that this is going to be a good bank to be with and so we need all of our staff to look after them and then we want to grow the bank and if you look at what we've been doing over the last uh, 12 months. We've certainly seen our growth in mortgages as we've used our new service model and we've been growing in credit cards and business banking as well. So people, um, you know, we're doing one in three mortgages for Kiwis now and um, people are liking what they're getting so we want to keep that going. But I guess some people like what they get when they think that they're banking with the National Bank even though I guess they've actually been a customer of, of the parent group. Are you expecting to lose any customers who don't like being absorbed in to ANZ. Look, people don't like change and it would have, frankly, it would have been a lot easier to leave everything the way it was, but it, it's not an option. The brand is expiring and we have to hand it back to Lloyds and so the, the logical choice is really to move it to ANZ. Uh, which is already here. But the key thing is that the people that our customers are used to dealing with will still be there tomorrow and their products, the National Bank products, will be exactly the same. We'll still be using the National Bank technology system and they're going to find us in more places. So at the end of it all, it, we've tried to minimise the impact and it does really come down to a change of colour. However, when you look at the customer satisfaction surveys, National tends to come out on top of the ANZ. So do you need to do some work on perception or the actual customer service at ANZ? Yes, if you look at the ANZ um, results, they've certainly risen over the last few years as we've installed the National model into ANZ. And one of the missing ingredients for us has been that National's internet banking has been um, much better than ANZ. Now, of course, as soon as we move to the new system in about a month's time, uh, all of the ANZ customers move on to the national technology system so they get that and that was really one of the last ingredients so we're, we're confident that we're um, we're going to be working very very hard to look after our national customers and earn earn their respect over time. But I guess you'd also acknowledge that your competitors will be working very hard to snaffle some of them. Are you launching anything in particular to try and combat that? Well the thing is we've, we've launched and we've been going for six months with our competitive offers in the marketplace and it's really working. You know we wrote over a billion dollars of mortgages so in the So you're going to stick with quarter. what you're doing today? Stick with what we're doing and we're going to defend our customers uh, very strongly. Um, we've worked very hard for them and our, and our frontline people have got very strong relationships and we called a lot of customers over, over the period of last night and overwhelmingly their first question was are you still going to be here and once they heard that uh, they quickly moved on to talking about things that's going on in their business. Well thank you very much for your time this morning that is David Hisco. I suppose I should call you the chief executive of ANZ now rather than ANZ National. Yeah, it'll take a little while to get used to. <laughs> thank it's you very assuring much. its staff that there won't be any losses in frontline jobs when it merges with the National Bank. The merger has been on the cards for months and hasn't taken the banking sector or the public by surprise. Here's what the ANZ National Bank CEO told us earlier. Well people don't like change and it would have frankly it would have been a lot easier to leave everything the way it was but it, it's not an option. The brand is expiring and we have to hand it back to Lloyds and so the, the logical choice is really to move it to ANZ uh, which is already here but the key thing is that the people that our customers are used to dealing with will still be there tomorrow and their products, the National Bank products, will be exactly the same.
Well, ANZ is expected to be hit hard by National Bank customers, potentially leaving in droves. Dr Bodo Lang is a senior lecturer in marketing at Auckland University's Business School, and he is with us now. Uh, this has been on the cards for a while. We saw it coming, but it could still prove very damaging to the ANZ brand, could it not, and their business basis? Yes, I think it can. I think there's a real risk of uh, a significant proportion of the, uh, of the National Bank customer base uh, defecting to other banks, because my research has shown that uh, customers who are merged into another bank uh, are at risk uh, because they haven't made the choice themselves to be part of that bank. So I think there's a risk um, here of some customers leaving, and I think other banks will be very tactical about this, and this is, this is an opportunity uh, for them because market share is very, very difficult to shift in banking. And this is one of those very rare opportunities, I think, where the other banks are aware that there's a significant portion of customers of another bank at risk. So the other banks at this stage are now rubbing their hands thinking, time for us to market this uh, as far as we can. Are we going to see a bit of a... Meanwhile, ANZ, of course, will be marketing the, this means nothing more, the same people will be serving you, they're just wearing a different colour. Uh, so are we going to see a massive marketing battle sort of erupt over this? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we will. I think um, ANZ will certainly do things internally. I'm sure they will have internal communications uh, to their staff and to their customers as well, reassuring them that nothing will change, that the systems have been in place for some time, that ANZ and National have come closer together, so there won't be a jarring effect internally. But some customers, no doubt, will feel that they're not part of National anymore, that there's a, you know, the, the colour's not there, the horse's not there. And the other banks, uh, they will certainly uh, instigate some tactical uh, marketing activities. So they will be switching campaigns, I have no doubt about it, where banks will probably offer certain products. Um, they might offer lower fees, uh, better interest rates. Uh, they might offer even breakage fees for mortgage products, things like this. So I think uh, from a bank customer's perspective, this is fantastic news because uh, they will probably be... Um, you know, be wooed by other banks. And ANZ may well bring in a, a countermeasures which may woo other people from other banks, who knows. But having said that, brand, it seems, is very important in banking. We take this very personally, despite the fact the core services are pretty similar across the board, depend, uh, despite which bank we're a member of. Yes, absolutely. I think you're right. I mean, there's a very you can look at this very rationally and say, well, it's just all about fees and interest charges uh, um, and, and bank branches and, and locations. But there's a significant proportion of bank customers that actually do identify with their brand and uh, the national brand has been historically one of the strongest brands in New Zealand and through the use of music and powerful imagery, colours, um, they've been a very much loved brand and they've always done very, very well in satisfaction surveys that we've conducted in the past. So I'm sure there will be a loss uh, um, of, that, of that brand equity. Bodo, um, we've got 20 branches closing, others are going to open it in, in other geographical areas. Uh, uh tactical geographical areas. We've been assured by the CEO, David Hisco, this morning that there are no frontline staff are losing their jobs. Some IT contractors will, by attrition, move on. Can you really see no staff losing their jobs over this? Yeah, I think, I'm sure there will be some duplication going on, and I think through natural attrition, um, obviously some staff, the numbers might reduce, but um, I think if he's made a public promise, I think it would be... Uh, it would be uh, uh, dangerous to, to break that. Um, I think another really interesting area where obviously cost savings can be made is marketing communication. Uh, National Bank spent about $16 million in 2010 on advertising, so that's an immediate cost saving that, uh, that the group has. Gives them a lot more muscle now it comes to the fact they've got to fight for their, uh, for their client base, I guess. Dr. Bodo Lang from Auckland University Business School, thanks very much for coming in. Thank